Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of questionable parentage, it's your homeboy, Captain Retro, and I'm out here in the garage. We've been working on some, some pinball machines and doing some crazy stuff, and I've got some Mario Brothers uh, side art for a Mario Brothers cabinet. So it's some good glare from the, from the light coming down right now, but we're sitting at my trusty school desk, and I've got my tripod rig kind of rigged up and ready to rig. Uh, so we can rig it correctly and uh, we can open up some more Panini Dunross 2021 Diamond Kings. We just got these in the mail. I bought this box on eBay for $109.95 plus shipping. Uh, and uh, we're going to go ahead and crack some open. We are looking for more autographs and more memorabilia cards. Uh, hopefully something super cool and rare is, is thrown in the deck. Let me let me just adjust the, the camera real quick. All right, so that's, that's as good as it's going to get. All right, let's open this thing up. Right off the bat, we're pulling just a big old stack of cards out. And we'll get the box folded up and ready to hold other stuff. So that's what it might look like if you were at the store and you were looking for the box. It, it folds over. All right, let's go through. Let's let's do the weight test. See, see if we can feel which pack feels heavier than the other ones. Actually, that was two packs I picked up, so those feel about the same. These feel heavier, but about the same. Those feel light. That one feels like it's heavier than the other one. Who knows? These feel light. This one feels like it has an insert in it. This one feels light. So the ones that I'm gonna guess have inserts Maybe I feel something weird in that one. That one. Possibly this one too. No. This one. Maybe an insert in that one. That one feels light too. So there's five packs that I think might have something extra sweet in them. Let's go ahead and start with the other stuff first. Cody Bellinger, a Jackie Robinson, a Brandon Lowe, a Paven Smith rookie card, art of hitting Ty Cobb, numbered, number 28 of 99, that's pretty dope, we'll stick it over here, we've got some sleeves and stuff inside to put some things in. We've got a Tris Speaker Aficionado. It looks like a regular foil aficionado. We've got another rookie card of Trevor Rogers. And a Diamond Kings debut of Sam Huff. All right, right off the bat, we got us a numbered card. I'm, I'm down with that. I like numbered stuff. It's got the blue background on it and the foil on that tie top. Miguel Cabrera. Braylon Marquez. I should be getting, that's a rookie card. We should be getting close to having a, a complete set of the, the regular run cards by now and, and maybe even the old school players as well. We're gonna, we're gonna remove some stacks around and change some positions of cards. So the rookies are gonna go here and then we will move the camera over just a bit. Uh-oh, we're falling forward. Don't fall down, camera. Can't afford to lose you, okay. Koei Arihara, rookie card. Alex Kirilov, rookie card. He's on my Diamond Dynasty team right now. He's a big hitter. We got a Nate Pearson, gray border Nate Pearson, Diamond Kings. That's cool. That's very cool. I like the Diamond Kings with the borders. We got a Mark McGuire, the club. I don't have that one yet. We've got a Christian Pache, Atlanta Braves rookie. That's good stuff. I don't think I have one of him yet. And then a Bobby Dahlback. I know I got a Bobby Dahlback. Pack number three. There's something cool in the back end of it already. Shoei Otani getting it done back there. 
Paul Goldschmidt. Kiebert Ruiz, rookie card. A Joe Sewell. A Joey Bart, rookie card. Another Joe Sewell. There's another bordered card. That is a plum bordered Joe Sewell. The Mookie Betts, Gallery of Stars. The Trevor Bauer and the Shoei Otani. Shohei Otane. Roberto Clemente. Andy Young rookie card. Chris Bryant. Jamai Jones rookie card. A Christian Javier border. There's another border card. So we've got our third border card. And that's a rookie card as well. The Ichiro Suzuki, the club. I think I have one of him already. A Sam Huff rookie card. And a Luis Campusano rookie card. There's a lot of rookies going on there. I think that's my first Luis. Lots of rookie cards. Lots of rookie cards and some inserts already. Good stuff. Garrett Crochet or Crotchet rookie card. Walker Bueller. Ryan Jeffers rookie card. Mickey Mantle. I love the old school cards. There's a William Contreras rookie card for Atlanta. There's a Johnny Bench legacy lithograph. A Roger Maris. And a Ryan Castellani. Diamond King's debut. That's his rookie card, I believe, as well. All right, we got two packs left of the ones that I thought did not have inserts in them. We got a Joe Cronin. A Luis Patino Tampa Bay rookie card. A Lou Gehrig, a Bo Bichette, the Manny Machado, a Tim Anderson Elegance card for Chicago, and an Andres Jimenez debut Diamond King, and a Mel Ott. The piles are just getting crazy, out of control. Uh, piles of cool stuff everywhere here. There's the overhead shot. I had to lift the tripod up just a bit to see be able to show you what's going on here but so far so good we're getting good stuff left and right i'm digging it i dig these diamond king packs they're very very cool we got a christian yelich a jesus sanchez rookie the pete rose a Shane McClanahan rookie card. A Ty Cobb. A Jose Abreu aficionado card. Where's the aficionado? They're going right there. We got Daz Cameron rookie and a Dane Dunning rookie. Again, it's mainly rookie cards and old players and then inserts. And then like the common cards are very, they're not stacked throughout the packs. So you get more rookie cards than you do commons. All right, so we are here with the first of the packs that I felt, felt like they had something bigger in them. Let us find out what we can find out. We've got an Aaron Judge. An Ian Anderson rookie card, Atlanta Brave. That's a good good line of Braves. I, I think the Braves might be the most represented throughout this whole run of cards, too, which is cool because that's my team. Uh, Joey Votto of Cincinnati. Braxton Garrett rookie card. The Babe Ruth. And our first fake out. I hate a fake out. I hate these fake outs. We've got a Stan Musial Art of Hitting. It is not numbered. We have a Sandy Koufax and a Pee Wee Reese. So we've got one fake out. I want a relic. We need a relic or a signature relic or something cool. 
Mickey Cochran. I've got a couple of those now. They're neat looking. Luis Robert. I thought that was a rookie guy as well. Maybe, maybe not. Keegan Aiken rookie card. Spencer Howard rookie card. Spencer Howard. George Sisler. Yet another fake out maneuver. Great. That's two fake outs in a row. A Kyle Lewis artist palette. A Mookie Betts. And a Jake Cronenworth debut Diamond King. All right, we are 0 for 2 with the thick packs. We got three left. I think we might be 0 for 3. Juan Soto. Edward Olivares rookie card. Harvey Kuhn. Jorge Mateo rookie card. Shoeless Joe Jackson sitting on top of yet another fake out maneuver. This is not a good box. Pete Alonzo. Joe Adele rookie card. That's a decent rookie card. And Tristan McKenzie rookie card. So again, fake out, fake out, fake out. We have just struck out with the first three that I thought were definitely thicker, and they definitely were. There looks like something is printed on that one. All right, we got a Mickey Moniac rookie card. We've got a Christy Mathewson, a Lucas Giolotto, Giolotto, Giolito, Lucas Giolito, a Tony Gwynn old school throwback. There's a Daz Cameron autographed relic of Daz Cameron. I believe he is a rookie as well. Maybe not. Mike Cameron? Mike Cameron. Okay, he must have changed his name. No, this is Mike's son? Crazy. Okay, Daz Cameron. Shows you what I know. Signature autograph Daz Cameron. We've got a legacy lithograph George Sizzla. Carl Hubble. And a Joe Adele Diamond King. Last pack. Come on, last pack mojo. Big money. Big money, no whammies. Big money, no whammies, no whammies. Dylan Carlson rookie card. Rogers Hornsby. Jose Ramirez. Bobby Dahlback rookie card. This is cool. This is an old school player. Joe Cronin. Not, not numbered, but that's a relic. Joe Cronin relic. Like, that dude is old. Old school. Old. Look how cool that uniform is, too. We got a Joe DiMaggio legacy lithograph. A Kiebert Ruiz Diamond King. And a Dalton Jeffries rookie card. So our two biggest hits, I think, or our biggest pulls are the two relics that came. They're both uh, double relics. One's a signature. None of them are numbered. Uh, the Joe Cronin and the Daz Cameron. And then the numbered thing that we got was the Ty Cobb. Ty Cobb numbered 28 of 99. Art of hitting, along with a stand usual art of hitting. A couple artist palettes. Couple aficionados, a couple Diamond Kings, a stack of rookies. It's always good to get them rookie cards. I mean, look at that. It's a stack of rookie cards. On top of the debut Diamond Kings, which I believe are rookies as well. I'm pretty sure that's what the debut is all about. And then another rookie card with a gray border and a rookie card Diamond King on a gray border. So there's a, a lot of cool stuff in here. A lot of, you know, neat, neat inserts. I love the way this stuff looks. It's packaged well. And uh, look, we just got some kind of old school ball players uniform. That's totally dope. I have no idea, honestly, who Joe Cronin is, but we're gonna go check his stats out, see if he's a Hall of Famer. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know what your favorite card was in the pool. Good times. Captain, Captain Retro, Captain Retro.